Cause I can't fall asleep at night without seeing my dreams Delusion and reality, I'm somewhere in between These voices in my head get loud and they keep telling me That I'm a fool for trusting in these wings But maybe, baby, this will fly Oh yeah, spark it up, boys. <sighs> <laughs> uh, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Just Chill Dude Podcast. Love it. You already know it's your host with the most, Big Tim. To my right, I got the co-host, Rudy. And then to my right, right, I got the co-co-host, also Killing. the producer, his name is Kill Bill Chill Nil Killed Nil. <laughs> okay, well, dude, I try to come up with a new name for it each time. No, he's Kill Bill. It he just, is. It is what it is. Yeah, everyone know? wants to kill him. What's up, guys? Yeah, what's up? He sounds like he's f-ing in a smoke dungeon, dude. This guy's getting hot boxed out by Tyson himself, dude. Oh, <laughs> Christ. Marijuana kills. CBD, dude. What is that? You're so high this is right good now. for anxiety, don't you say? We're not low. Oh. Better than Kush, yeah, huh? Yeah, you know, let's debate that, dude. Yeah, dude. Nope. Why not smoke Legitimately it? right off the rip, dude. Are, yeah, right off the yeah, it's, yeah, how are you feeling? Tell us tell us what happens like as soon as from a being a former like actual THC smoker to just a CBD smoker, what do you notice like initially happens when you first smoke CBD? Like the the best way I can describe it and it's also like the most inconfident way is that it's like you're high but you're not high it's mm-hmm. a very weird contradiction like you get the effects like the onset like whoa dude i'm like feeling like the difference of like chill you're just chill dude you're just chill dude and then all of a sudden you're just like wait i could still like function properly i don't have all this anxiety and stuff like that because i paranoia think, and I, shit. I think that's something you were telling me that like both you guys like now that you're getting like older and stuff like yeah like what what's the difference when you smoke weed now is as, as to before dude, well, like was- before i don't know I, I can't speak for rudy but like for me dude i used to i was the type of guy that i used to be able to sit with all the all the buddies and just freaking rip bong rip after bong rip dude like i, I hey hey it, hey hey I still function I'd be smoke high. weed I every to day <laughs> too and then i noticed right around when i turned like 24 last year i don't know dude so i just woke up and smoked one day and was like smoking like how much that i normally did and just it didn't agree with my body like all of a sudden i started getting like bad panic attacks and just like like shit that did not happen before no yeah dude. get out of here dewey what are y'all doing we're smoking reefer and you don't want no part of this shit panic attacks when i started smoking like when i was so that's been like 10 years because you just turned 40 no i'm actually 60 my gray hair just i shaved it and my back's broke but seriously, <laughs> it broke from me or what? No, I just, like, <sighs> I smoke, I, when I smoke weed, I cough a lot. Ugh. No, but um, yeah, like honestly, that anxiety worsens as you get older. So kids, if you're listening, stop now or, you know, keep smoking. That's what I did. Yeah, but, Shay, <laughs> the next room over, stop fucking smoking, Damn. you idiot. Damn, so get CBD. I heard there's also health benefits to that as well, you know, in terms no, of, like, anxiety, obviously, one, uh, inflammation. I know, like, Dude, with, the hemp plant is very beneficial. Like, I got that hemp lotion for, for my body. I have I have hemp lotion and I have hemp chapstick, and mm. I can, I, I'm not even joking, I've used the chapstick. It fixes your chapped lips way quicker than, like, yeah. a regular like Tim's lips look says. like fucking walking on sand. It's bad. Dude, you're an idiot. <laughs> I don't have ashy elbows like you. Yeah, every time I walk and I hit the wall, it looks like Parmesan grated cheese. It's like, <laughs> fuck. But it's okay. It's good. CBD is the shit. They say weed is all bad and THC is all the psychoactive bad parts. It's good and we like the psychoactive parts. But don't forget that it's also a medicinal substance as well. Why don't you tell medical. them where they can find themselves some oh CBD? Oh my god. Dude, you gotta clean that fucking yak from your fucking doorstep. <laughs> oh right? yeah, Tim so threw so up. Oh, at the just, Tim is hey, a it's disgusting. been raining okay, so it kind of revived itself. Oh, wow, no. You're asking me where i get the stuff okay, yeah so, so in case will, they want to you know what i've i don't think i've ever shouted out anyone yeah. so like shout out plainjane.com hey, 
what's it called? Check it out, plainjane.com. Like that name. It's ironic. It's Jane. funny too, plain right? Mary Jane, but plain. plain. It's yeah. No exactly. Dude. No, yeah. Guess what? <laughs> I bet you a lot of our listeners will probably go and at least try it out. So you should definitely consider sponsoring us. Yeah. And we'll talk about you guys some more. Then we'll buy you more. I'm telling you guys, like I've turned on like to like the product, like adults, like people my age, people people that we smoke weed, like, like five year old kids. Yeah, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't selling vape juice like back in the day. To <laughs> anymore. Not anymore, dude. Go to jail. Dude, <laughs> CBD is the shit. Shout I've, out CBD. I've never done that in my life. But yeah, shout out CBD Lion. Shout out fucking Plain Jane, dude. If you guys are interested in sponsorships, hit me up. Email me at timeves98 at gmail.com and we'll go, we'll go from there. But uh, yeah, dude. So fucking. What are we getting into today? I don't. Oh, yeah. Well, didn't you send me like a text or something about Biden was doing oh, like a tax hike? Oh, we're or... starting political first. Well, dude. I mean, you are getting all fucking crazy. I mean, first of all, if you like Biden, I understand. <sighs> Well, yeah. you voted for him, so you should speak for those people that <laughs> whoa, do. Whoa, whoa. I didn't vote for him. I just clicked the button, and I didn't know what happened. It stuck. We have this notion that somehow if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. P- wealthy kids. Black kids. But apparently... Uh, I guess the, according to one of his bills or something that he had put out, he is raising the tax high. So we're spending, I think, six six point eight trillion dollars on the uh, on a tax hike, and I don't know. But those that... are for like those are for like um, what do you middle class like people like us or like whatever you want to call our uh, yeah we'd be like upper middle class or middle class, but. It's going to be, like, taxed for people like us as opposed to the rich or something. No matter what, dude. Like, no matter what kind of um, politics or uh, laws they put in place to reduce taxes, it's always going to be in favor of the rich. And I know this from reading a bunch of books about, like, financial, like, setting yourself up financially and shit. Uh, Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, great book. He explains uh, essentially how he gets out of having to pay taxes, like multi-million dollars worth of tax every year. There's a loophole, and uh, he's basically, I don't want to explain the whole thing. Read the book. It's a very interesting book, but essentially what he does is every time he invests, um, because you only have to pay taxes on money that you make from like, like Bitcoin and all from that like a job taxes. or like Bitcoin, yeah. yeah, something like that. So if you're making like, um, what do you call it, passive income, I'm sure there's still tax on it to a certain extent, but there's like a loophole where you can do so maybe like, like put it through an LLC or that's something. That's what I I'm saying. That on TikTok you can do that. That and... saves you a fuck ton of taxes. Or what they do is they they leverage their loan. So like as opposed to like say say like he wants to buy a house or say we want to. But we're in like the say we're rich as fuck and we're about to buy a house and you put down a down payment as opposed to just putting down like say a 60,000 down payment. Um, what Robert Kiyosaki like suggests or what he does anyways, he like borrows all the money for the entire price of the whole whatever he's buying for the entire say the home's a million dollars. He'll borrow a million from the bank and then I, I you kind of have to read it. It's really hard yeah. to explain, but essentially he it's, leverages the bank's yeah. money. So it's that, financial advice that you need to listen to. So that oh, he good. doesn't get fucked out of like um, interest rates and shit. Like it's a, like it's a whole loop. Well, they're saying so after this whole budget, like you know all the tax hikes and whatever. I guess apparently now the Re- Republicans are pissed about the overspending that's happening. You know they're looking on the You're other side. Damn right I am. <laughs> they're so look- is Kyle. Bitch, we told you to sit down. You're looking at imagine America is that fence right now, and Republicans and Democrats are neighbors, and we're just look we're looking over that fence. right right now just being like what the fuck are they doing over there i got a question uh, actually for what <laughs> kyle relapsed on xanax again no, i just my... looked in his eyes <laughs> i can see it in his eyes this he is said like the fuck. third time that he said that that's fucked no, dude, up this is the first time actually really and listen to the other pods <laughs> that's classic no i will say that like uh I thought you meant like in this pot alone, but no, no, no. yeah, no, I, I do. That's like a reoccurring thing, and I'm gonna continue doing that because I like fucking with Kyle, and I know that he'd never. Yeah, that's a, it's a, it's like a five he... second reoccurring bit, dude. Yeah, I'll, dude. I'll call it uh, Kyle's relapse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah right. put in like a thing like <laughs> Kyle's relapse. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just show like a a broken heroin needle coming out of someone's <laughs> neck or something. <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll insert one into wow. my neck. I'll take a picture. Like... 
<laughs> that would be classic. Oh my god. Kyle's rehab. I'm gonna start writing that down every week. All right. But speaking of getting fucked up. No, no, fuck. no. What about the the people want to know more about the tax hike though? Because that's just. I mean, what do you well, what do you have to say? Well, because this impacts us. Fuck it's gonna be that. more taxes out of our paychecks. All right. Fuck. There you go. There you go you, schools. Oh, that's what I was gonna ask you though. Because I know your dad. Your dad's definitely a Republican. So is my dad. Right. I would say so. And so is your dad. Right. From three different backgrounds. White. I, not that it matters, but we got a white white dad that's fully Republican. Well, I guess one Italian dad and one Mexican dad. And they're all on the same page politically. So I kind of want to get an opinion. Like, if your dad heard Biden, like, right now, say he was, like, speaking on TV and he's like, we're going to fucking, I'm Sleepy Joe, and we're going to fucking, <laughs> we're going to start charging you 38% tax instead of 13 Like, to just, like, I'm, I'm making up shit, but, like, what would your dad say? What the hell is even that? You, like, if you had to come up with, like, something that you think he would say, what, what would it be? I think he would just shake his head and be like, fuck this motherfucker, man. Like, he'd be pissed as hell. You don't think he'd, like... Get like pissed, pissed. I mean, or... he would, but what's he gonna do? It's not like he's Punch right in front. Yeah, Fuck no. no. He's, <laughs> he'd, probably just, he'd probably just curse him out. Just be like, this fucking sleepy motherfucker yeah. or whatever. <laughs> you know, just bad talk him. He'd be like sitting on the couch and hear that shit and then just stand up, throw his like Italian arms up in the right. air and be like, well, here we go again. Like, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he's like, what? What? I mean, but you know, if maybe this is Biden's first time. You know, he's new. Give him a chance. No, my dad like actually gets pissed. <laughs> my dad even told me like, he definitely still, like, keeps up on, like, the political side of things. But, like, dude, everything's just been, like, so fucky, like, and wonky the last couple years that, like, we've both... Super fucky, Chucky. We've both <laughs> kind of just, like, stopped paying attention as much. But, like, he definitely stays in the loop. But, like, I, I can tell, dude, because sometimes, like, he'll watch something or, like, something on the news will come up. And I'll go, like, see my dad and he'll be like, you fucking seen this shit, dude? Or, like, I'll bring it up and he's like, yeah, I've, I've seen that dumbass shit, dude. Like, he Biting gets... His jaw, like, yeah, like, just like, teeth, you motherfucker, dude. Like, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, dude. Dad anger when they're, like, uh, when it's, like, they clench their teeth and they're, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> they, their mouth isn't even opening, but they're, like, lifting. They literally, oh, they're, they're, like, they're, like, they're, like, you son of a fucking bitch. <laughs> Run for your life before I kill again! They, they look like a gopher trying to eat. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the? So <laughs> like, seriously, that's fucking hilarious. But I mean, honestly, though, like, I get it, you know? it's. I was thinking about this the other day. It doesn't matter who the fuck is fucking president. There's always going to be a left and right and a right and a wrong. And we're just in the situation of it being wrong for us. So it's just for like, us. fuck. <laughs> you know? No, but for real, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Kind of true, no, it is. I was thinking that. I was just like, bro, like, because it's true. Like, everyone's like, yay, Barack, yay, Barack. And then some people are like, yay, Bush, yay, Bush. And they're like, fuck Trump, fuck, you know, everyone, for some people, people it's gonna be good and bad and you're just like fuck this you know who i actually think would be a good president and this is gonna throw people johnny off. oxville no i think Shaq would make a great president no hell joke. yeah Shaq. because he's very business oriented just like fucking trump yeah you know what she says what she, she say? says even though i'm spanish you know i like that chocolate obviously dude this guy owns like literally Shaq. Literally, yeah. Look it up. I want to see just something. I, I want to see something real quick. He owns like so many fucking companies now. Oh, it's I know. Ridiculous, Hold on, dude. This up he owns like um, Reebok I'm now. Look it up. Watch. I want to see. He something. owns Reebok. He owns um, several um, uh, wing stops. Or is no, that's Rick Ross. That's Rick Ross. Wrong my bad. Guy. No, but uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. F fucking Shaq owns a bunch of franchises of yeah, some. Dude, the commercials he's making bank on, yeah. like the like the the general one, yeah, yeah, yeah. the general car insurance. Yeah, dude, like, what's, you know, it's fucking hilarious, dude. Like, I heard, I heard <laughs> he something doesn't about vote. like like when uh you know after Shaq showed up on like the the general insurance company, <laughs> like everyone's like, you know what, maybe we can trust this company. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what what are they incentivizing? Would you think the general was like before you'd see the commercial and stuff and like. You know, you you know what the commercial looks like. Yeah. Yeah, like it's all fucking like this like pixelated like fucking dude. like it looks like a scam, dude. Yeah, like you know, red car yeah, yeah. The general, general save some time, yeah. like you know, and then fucking like you know, all of a sudden Shaq appears, and then it's like, oh, you know what? Like maybe I could get onto that. Yeah. Like, you know? okay. B BZW, he doesn't vote. Is he's not Republican or de Democrat? I guess. That's I respect that. So he just and, does. And you know why I respect him even more is because he's not public about it. Like for example, I used to love Snoop Dogg. 
kind of getting old now. I'll be honest, yeah, but wait, old. like his but age no, 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 or his no, spick? Like just his sh- his whole shtick. Yeah. Like it's it's like, dude, it's been going on since like ninety, dude. Like give it up, or probably even before that, dude. And so he's just always talking about old stories and like, dude, there's even been rappers like uh like uh not Easy E, he's fucking dead. Um, some other rappers that are alive that are from his time. I think it was like Ice Cube or something. Where Snoop will tell a story about hanging out with like Suge Knight or fucking Tupac or Biggie, which he did. He knew all those people. They were all part of Death Row Records. But he'll like say some shit that's completely just fucking just fabricated, dude. And like there's been times where other rappers, like I said, like Ice Cube or like some old school dudes will be like, I was there when that happened and that is bullshit. Like straight up. You can look it up on YouTube. Just look up fucking... Snoop Dogg got, gets caught fucking lying by Ice Cube or something. Like, you'll fucking find it, I promise you. Yeah, dude, you know, you know, uh, you're saying what? Like, it's just getting old? It's just getting old, and not only that, he started getting political, dude. It's like, yeah. it's like... Well, he's been keep like he's been keeping his same like act going on. You're saying, yeah, it's like, like dude, yeah, you don't see fucking Will Smith going down the street and being like in West Philadelphia. He, you know, yeah, like, he just goes and slaps. Will Smith has like a big fucking, fucking thing that was no. Chris Rock like. Well, slap, and like, Shaq's a great example of that. If he was just like, hey, I'm Shaq, like I'm big and tall and yeah, fucking no, like I I, I used yourself. to be. Like, yeah, you reinvent yourself. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. only way to stay relevant. Yeah. So, so I don't know. I mean, that's that's what's going on publicly. In the, which, in the... sorry to interrupt you, but which is kind of interesting about podcasts because podcasts, you there's no really need to stay relevant. The only thing you, you know what I mean? I mean, like, like look at Joe Rogan. He's been podcasting, doing the same format for over ten years. Ten yeah. years? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. I mean, the only thing he's changed. He, no, he hasn't changed anything really. Yeah, except yeah. his hair. Except for some segments. I don't know. And his titties are saggier. And his no, dude, that dude's ripped. He is. I saw him kick a bag and it went thirty miles. I'm like, holy shit, <laughs> <laughs> dude! If you're gonna kick my ribs, he'd break them in. Dude, he'd like, probably kick through your whole body. I'd be like, skinny joke. <laughs> I'd be like, fear is a factor. I'm shitting my pants, sir. <laughs> Wait, what is that? You'd scream, Joe, like for Sleepy Joe? Oh uh, no, Joe Biden would lift his leg up and I'd roll the subway and come back because it took too long. I'm like, Jesus. Wait, what? I don't know, but yeah, that's, that's <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck. I was saying his he would take him so long to kick me I can go to Subway and back. Oh, I thought you said I thought I don't know I thought you said something else. Yeah, you fucking Jared Fogle lover. I swear, we talk about Jared Fogle once. Yo, hey Jared Fogle, sponsor, oh, sponsor the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> fuck no, dude. I don't want a Subway sponsor. Get the fuck out of here. You can keep your four inch rounds, dude. Get them out of here. Yeah. All right, we got a right to. Right to Rut the rut the what the fuck did you just dude, say? Sorry, dude? I had a brain fart. Yeah, no, you had a brain aneurysm, dude. It was what a the brain shit that, it all dude? over my head, shitting. Fucking insane, but yeah, dude, you guys watch out for that segment because we're gonna come back and reoccur on Kyle's relapse. Kyle's relapse. <laughs> Kyle's, Kyle's relapse. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, <laughs> dude. So stay tuned for that. But, uh, no, nah, dude, another thing I, I had a question for you guys was, uh, music, dude. Who, music! Like, who's, who's your fave? Um, who do you listen to on, like, a daily basis, rather? Like, if you, like, say you're just going on a trip to the store to get some, I don't know, fucking food, or for Rudy, maybe steal some food or something. Like, who would you go and listen to on the way? Oh, man, it all depends on my mood. Depends on my mood? Yeah. Delete my I want mind. want you to empty your mind. He's like the SpongeBob thing. I don't empty know why I just got from it. He's like, empty like, your mind. Mind? 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 Yeah, it's like, there's a like, deal. Empty your mind of everything, everything that doesn't have to do with fine no, but, uh, dining. Yeah, dude, this idiot. Fine okay, dining I got, uh, and breathing. Or no, I was asking you guys about music. Sorry, I'm jumping all over the place, but music. Who do you listen to on a daily basis, even if you're just going to put some money in the bank or to like to pay a bill? Like, if dude. you're hopping in the car, who's your go to? I got a. I, it depends on my mood. If I'm feeling trippy and chill, I recently checked out this band called Pink Floyd. Chill Flo- Bill. Ch- no, it's called yeah, Pink Floyd. Bill, uh, are you, re- dude? I've had that poster hanging on my wall behind. Yeah, you, you had for- that poster, that poster. Yeah, I know. I seen that. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I. It's new for me. All this right. This guy's out of fucking what about control. Mac Miller, dude? I come yeah, up. Shout out no, Mac no, no. Miller. Shut up. Shut up. I come up with this podcast. This whole thing's my idea. <laughs> He's getting a fucking. And he's got he's got the audacity to t- call it a what what did you just call it a pilster? Shout out audacity. Shout out. Oh, literally shout out audacity. The fucking editing program. Hey, they're gonna hook us up. Hey, get us a program or something. We love you guys. Yeah, without having to pay we love you. Everyone, fucking, man. I love you guys. 
But, uh, yeah, yeah, no, dude, I've had fucking pink flair. I used to have, you ask Kyle, my room was covered in posters, dude. Like, What's your favorite dude. song? Well, that's hard, dude. The favorite song is kind of crazy. Favorite band, it, I, it goes by categories with me. But if I had to pick top three, what are we talking? Rap, rock, whatever, psychedelic Anything. rock. Like, what's in like, your, what are you putting on right now on Spotify? Hmm. Top three, I honestly, one's got to be, it's a, depending on the mood, like Rudy said, one's got to be Jelly Roll, though. That guy's a fucking a genius, dude. Well, what, what are you, like, at, like, 9 a.m. going to work, and you're just blasting, like, we don't play that way, my G, like. Usually, yeah. <laughs> like, wakes him up. Yeah, wakes him up. Yeah, no, like, no, no not, by the way, when I'm bullshit. headed to work, it, it's actually 6.45, Kyle, not 9. Who wants but, a Krabby um, Patty at 3 in the morning? Yeah, an early oh, bird. Boy, 3 a.m. 7, I wake up at 6, though. Uh, no, but if I had to go, yeah, Jelly Roll for sure is to one of my top threes. I'm not saying which one's first or whatever. Second would have to be Flatbush Zombies and Ooh. Underachievers. I, I put them together because they're literally cousin or like they're cousins, the lead rappers or whatever. And then, uh, shit, third? Fuck, dude. I'm trying to think like, yeah, if I'm going to work, like what would I listen to? Oh, Five, probably like some five finger death punch or like disturbed like something that'll just get me fucking hyped dude because i don't i don't what like that do for you though like it wakes me up dude because i can't really drink too much coffee anymore because of my anxiety well bro what if you're a four finger amputee and you want to listen to like you know four, four finger, finger death, death punch, punch dude. Yeah, well <laughs> then you compensate for the fifth dude i don't know how do you wipe your ass you know, five honest. times I'm calling the cops. Oh. Dude. Five times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How are you supposed to fucking gauge that? Hold on a second. So if you're Theo Vaughn and you had he 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 has this rule and we've discussed this at least two or three other times, but um he's got this rule where he grew up in the molester belt, so he gives them he says you have four times. Four times. That fifth time I'm calling the fucking cops. Okay, which first of all is hilarious, Wait, but what? fucking absolutely insane. That's insane. So funny. <laughs> five times, dude. Five times, dude. Four. All right, so you got five. That's it. No, but what were we just talking about? You said five times. What were we talking about prior to that? Music, I just got music. music. What's your third, like, what would you listen to if you were driving in the morning, maybe? I just told you, day? like, oh, some five-finger death right. punch, and then you said four-finger fucking or something. <laughs> <laughs> One in the pink, two in the stink, or whatever. No, more you know, like two in the pink, two in the stink, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Something's <laughs> in my ass. That's why yeah. they call You gotta do that little alien finger thing. You know what I'm talking about? Like this, guy. Yeah, I can't Spock. even do it. It's the Spock. The Spock. Like hey, shout out to Spock, man. <laughs> Hey, yo, but what's up? I just thought of something just off the rip, dude. What's up with the homie Dane, dude? He goes by Dodge the Rapper or Dodge the Artist on TikTok, I believe. Yeah, He's actually... He's actually uh, and shout out Dodge, shout out Dane Anderson, dude. This, Dodge, you know, DJ, right? D A J, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've it's known like this Dog kid. So is right. Kyle. We've known him like literally his entire life since he was a very little kid. Kyle's known me since I was fucking little as shit, dude. Like an embryo. Uh, no, not that I'm little, not, but. I'm telling you, dude. Like this guy's a star, dude. Yeah, no. Like I'm telling you, he's got like what a hundred. I just looked. He has like a hundred and sixty thousand followers on TikTok. Man. Yeah, dude, like, and the last video he posted was legit two years ago like i'm like dude you're you're throwing away so much fucking potential as far as a platform like it's honestly disgusting yeah. to me when when we're over here grinding on pretty much all platforms just to get a little bite you know what i mean like yeah so bite us i don't know man i mean like you know i get the whole like uh like well actually like we don't even know you know he could be going through something like you know we gotta you know, every, you know, everyone goes through something and then everyone you just kind of drop journey, off. Bro. Yeah, dude. You know, maybe he's just like fucking backing off for a little bit and he's like working on his craft. Like, you know, perfectionist, man. Like, I get it. Like, you know, you just don't stop. Well, you got to exercise, like, especially. And I can tell you that Dane is I call him Dane because he's dude. That's like he's like he my calls little him brother because he cooks. <laughs> No, he doesn't cook. In fact, I don't even think he ever has in his life. But well, no, he cooks. I mean, he raps well. He cooks. No, shout out, Mike, Dane. I fucking love you, dog. In fact, I haven't seen you in a minute, dude. You need to take a break from Teresa and just fucking say what's up to your <laughs> homie, dude. Hey, why don't you yeah, tell him their address? You. Fuck. Jeez, man. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Fucking release I've never life. met Teresa. No bad harm or no no what what no hard foul. Whatever you fucking call that shit. Hard feeling. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so you know, one thing that we uh, definitely wanted to no, bring... but one thing I definitely oh wanted to God. cut you off and say is that we should get Dodge in here, the artist himself, for oh, a man. fucking ask him, dude. guest 
episode. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, I think. What do you mean? Yeah, you know, Kyle. We've known him for fifteen yeah, years. Well, yeah, and I know right now he's like, you know, he's not in big into like going out and like you know talking to people right now. He's just kind of like like on media. Like, yeah, for anything, dude. Like, he's just uh, he's just really working on himself. And, like, you know, I wish the best for him. And, I like, you know, honestly, like, I hope, like, you know, in the near future, like... Dude, if you know, we we're, could land you know, him as a guest, that'd Yeah, be dude, epic, in the near dude. future, that'd be fucking awesome, dude. This guy's got a lot of good stuff to say. And, epic. Like, yeah, he's an intelligent kid. Like, I'll give him that. Dude, this guy's, like, trip sitted me on acid back in the... Even though he's much younger than me, but, yeah. No, or not... What is he, like, three years younger than me? Yeah. What I don't you, know, like something like that. No, I'm fucking 25 next week, you idiot. You're 41. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... Bat- shit, dude. Like, what, you know what I what, just thought, where dude? Where were you? What the fuck? No, I had to take a piss, dude, oh, okay. so we, we fucking paused real quick. But, you know, like, um... You, you ever get that feeling, like, when you're taking a shower, like, a piss or something, and you just come up with, like, high thoughts? Like, it could be when you're sober as fuck or when you're high as fuck, like... Or the best ideas, and you're like, this is gonna win me the fucking Emmy of the I mean, I guess, but no, I wouldn't put it that far. I mean, maybe. I don't know, but... Anyway, so I was just taking a piss, uh, TMI, but... And I was just thinking, like, how impressive it is that we have been able to... We're now... This is podcast number 10. Ooh, yeah. Fuck <laughs> that that we've been able to make this thing um not only start but continue something that's so fucking cool using just my mic we got through the trials boys. the hardest thing in life is consistency that no that truly is the hardest thing but rudy like have you ever seen any other podcasts where there's i guess technically it's me and you that talk the most so you you could technically use one mic but like with three people, dude, it's trippy or it's tricky rather. Cause like sometimes like if Kyle wants to say something, he's got to run across my room just to come fucking talk. So like the fact that we've made this work, dude, fucking hats off to us, dude. Cause Woo-hoo. that's, that's fucking dope in my opinion. Yeah. We pat ourselves on the back. I don't know. I was just thinking about that, but like uh Rudy, so you voted for Biden. What do you, what do you like about him? Oh no, Kyle can make that sound. We don't need your stinky breath doing it. <laughs> uh, he's crushed. No, but honestly, fuck Biden, man. I'm not down with that him. Oh, guys, I just drank the rest of my drink. They definitely put some crystal meth in there. Honestly, with Biden, this is the way I see him. I don't. I don't. Oh, yeah, because pretty soon here, he's going to be fucking six foot deep, dude. What? <laughs> Yeah. It's not a threat on the president, no, so don't get us. I didn't say I was going to do anything. Jesus Christ. I just said he's going to be six foot deep. Dude's on the way out, bro. Yeah. Can't even ride a goddamn mountain bike without tipping it over before he fucking catches his foot, dude. Yeah. And like, fuck? as as a nation, what do you think other nations think of that when they see that? They, I can, I don't even, this isn't a thought. This is a fucking I know, because this has been spoke about on several fucking major platforms like uh, CNBC, Fox News, like the major news uh, medias. And, like, fuck CNN. CNN's fake news, just like Trump would say. I love it. Fake news. <laughs> it's fake news. Hey, I'm not looking for a rumor. I'm the president, and you're fake news. Yeah, no, but anyways, I'll leave the best Trump impressions to Shane Gillis and uh, J- uh, Jamie Foxx. They do the best. But, uh, anyways, my point being, dude, is, like, to other countries, this is, like I said, it's been spoke about on several fucking platforms. They think that America is a joke right now. This entire... Um, time that the biden administration has been in charge dude they look at us like we're just some like play toy chew toy right now like i swear to god and the only reason that nobody's done anything in my opinion is because president former president trump set such high expectations and such high demands as far as like if you ever touch another one of our soldiers like shit like that and you can all fact check this i'm not lying chuck chuck zoni would agree with me 100 percent He's like set in lo- set in stone, very like um, very very harsh. I wouldn't even call them laws, like just like ways of life, I guess that you should not fuck with America. He's made that very evident, and so like what Biden's doing right now is basically allowing them to do that. But I think the reason why there has been no retaliation towards the U.S. itself is be like I said because of what Trump has put in place. So I don't, dude. All I can tell you is that I know for a fact these countries like China that are literally just mimicking us, essentially. China is just mimicking us, but on a much bigger scale. Um, We're mimicking them. Look, we got Panda Express, pickup sticks. That's retarded. No, they're mimicking us uh, as far as business because I'm not going to lie. China's fucking – they're brilliant. They, they know how to fucking make money. 
But on that same coin, that's why so many Chinese people or or just Asian people in general come over here to America because what happens is they make so much money there and they realize that their economy is fucked, their politics are fucked, their president's fucked, their whatever, a dictator, whatever you may call it over there, it's fucked. And they know if they can take their money and come here, not only will it be a better life, it's better investments, it's better this, better that. Like there's, dude, I have so many fucking like stories that I could tell you or like people that I know that legit grew up in China or like fucking Japan and they their family make like multi-million dollar businesses out there, I think it's in like yen or something. And they come here, they, they uh, transfer the currency and they're fucking owning fucking apartment buildings and shit now. Seriously, so. there's so many of them in Irvine, so it's just. It's but we easy. love our Asians. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah. that's not that's not like any. We're harm just we're saying we just that. notice we notice that, and honestly, man, welcome to America. Welcome to it. I hope you enjoy. It. And by the way, I've never. When I talk about shit like that, that's just factually speaking. So if you take that the wrong way, that's it, it, truly on you. And at the end of the day, I can tell you for certain, I live in. This probably the second or third safest city in America, and Irvine, which is the first safest city, is right next door to me, basically. Yeah, so figure which out is where full he lives. of Asians. Welcome to Shitty Walk. Can I take all the praise? But my point being is that I see Asians pretty frequently, and I've never been disrespected by one. Uh, if anything, they've had the utmost respect for me, so therefore, why would I have any reason to hate on them? Or and their food is them? so good. I just had some pho the other day and sushi. Right. I mean, and, and, and well, that's, that's, I don't know if that's Chinese. I don't know. You'd have to look that up. How come every time a hardworking Chinese man open a business, some smelly Japanese dog had to come and try and invade him? But I'm talking about just Asians in, in general, like Korean barbecue, fire. Mm. I'm glad you came up with that because that fucking bulgogi and that fucking, was it thinly sliced brisket? Dude, yeah, that shit's oh. off the charts, dude. Makes Fucking. you want to get up and not pay. <laughs> oh, t- you're telling me, buddy. <laughs> Jesus, man. No, honestly, that's you know that's good though. That's that's honestly one one thing that I was I was thinking. But you know, I was I was talking to my coworker about this the other day, and I think we all deal with this on a daily basis. And I think we all know this word. It's a uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, eight letter word, and it's called anxiety. Now, I. Have fucking dealt with that, and it sucks. Tim. Wait, I'm, that's a seven-letter word. Okay, it's seven. <laughs> See? <laughs> Dang it, I spelled it wrong. But uh, I was talking to you about it, because I know you've definitely mentioned your challenges and daily faces with that. I mean, honestly, there's, like I said, people probably listening to this and knowing that they are, you know, we wanting to help and come up with other ways to maybe deal with that and, and also go through that on it's a healthy even, basis. And, and sorry to cut you off. It's not all, it's not also like, or not always rather we're trying to help you or this or that or the fifth, but it's more so like, cause I've noticed a lot of videos. I deal with a lot of depression and anxiety myself, like severe panic attacks. And I'm sure we've touched on this on previous podcasts. As a matter of fact, I know we have. Um, so I kind of want to make it a reoccurring segment because what I realized throughout my journey of like that shit and when I looked that shit up online or like watched certain videos of people with panic attacks or this and that, I've learned to feel that like I'm not alone. Because like prior to that, I was just like going through this shit, having panic attacks, feeling like I'm about to have a heart attack, like depressed as fuck, like suicidal thoughts like that that's all out the window now like i've i've learned how to control all that but i'm saying like i've been to those dark points and like it's not a fun place to be and i'm not trying to be a voice for anybody but i'm just saying that you're not alone and that's why we talk about topics like this because just that just me saying that alone could save someone's life like no joke and no and honestly i mean the reason why i bring it up even in general is because at the end of the day this stuff happens to us and And i want people to deal with it yeah well and we all want the same thing and that is some sort of resolved issue for it or Or some sort of yeah so like i mean is there anything you can share that you do yourself that helps or what i mean it, it all depends um what you're diagnosed with i mean there's a lot of factors that come into play you know like everyone's different there's a it depends what you're diagnosed with um it depends whether or not you're you're willing to take medicine for it or if you want to handle it naturally which um my best guess would be to handle it naturally but i my shit's so fucking bad and i'm so under the grips of like anxiety and shit like at work rather 
um, that I physically have to take medication in order for me to like function at work or else I've like, I've had several times where I've collapsed, having a panic attack, like out of breath, couldn't breathe, about to pass out and I've had to leave. I've lost several jobs over it. So that's why I choose to take medication. But like I said, not everybody's the same. Like there, I know a lot of people that get through it without medication. So it's just like, it depends Whatever on what works for you. Whatever what, works. What the severity is of it um, in, in your case. So yeah, I just you know just checking in on all the homies and the listeners. You know, if you guys ever feeling down or whatever, feel free to email us. Feel free to um, send in send in a fucking uh, fan submission video, or like some audio clip, and we'll we'll drop the link right here. I'll have Kyle drop the link right here to where you can send your fan submission videos. It could be funny stuff. It could be a question that you want us to answer, or maybe something that we might have advice on. It could be. It could be that you're going through the roughest patch in your life that you've ever gone through and you're just looking for a little pick-me-up advice. You know what I mean? Like, literally anything you can send to this fucking thing. So I'll leave the link here and I'll also say it verbally. It is Tim Eves, T-I-M-E-A-V-E-S 98 at gmail.com. Again, I'll leave the link right here in the fucking visual version below. But uh, anyways, let's continue on. And if you want to mail him, he's at 25638 Buckley in Lake Forest, California. All right, perfect. Yeah, no, yeah. let's not uh, say what it actually is. Kind of. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Try to help out our fans and you try to expose me. What the yeah, fuck, dude? Yeah. But honestly, though, that's all, that's all that we're trying to do, man, because we know that this shit is rough and it's hard to do. So, you know, especially alone. So we're all in it together, as corny as that sounds. Yeah. But yeah, dude, you know, and not, and not to be like all, uh, you know, depressing and shit, but we just want to let you know that we're we're here. Trust me, we feel the same way on a daily basis, me especially. Um, and that's, dude, that's why I picked the name Just Chill Dude, that because me and Kyle have all, always had anxiety and we've always told each other. Same with Rudy. Dude. Just Chill Dude. Yeah, yeah but even before we knew Rudy is my point. Like, of course, even with Rudy, Rudy's got terrible yeah, anxiety too. Just, dude, fucking Just Chill Dude, Rudy. I mean, I, that's what I want to be a just chill dude like this wasn't a name that we just came up with off the rip this shit we've been saying just chill dude just in general <laughs> for I'm not even, what like 10 years almost manifestation yeah. at it's best yeah cause I started sm- nah I'd say maybe 8 years dude, yeah Tim would be like oh man I dropped all the geeks in the car I can't find them be like yeah just chill dude <laughs> yeah cause you were so barred out and you were oh, fine I love it. and She's I like, hadn't gotten my shit yet <laughs> and thus just chill dude was born yeah yeah right Tim's all butt hurt he's like I'm gonna suck these pills up through my butt hole <laughs> dude that's called the suppository brother but anyways wh- I-, I also wanted to ask you cause I've been thinking about this lately just like uh, manifestation rather uh-huh, but yeah. um because I notice, like, the more you talk about shit, the more it's likely to be spoken to existence. So I'm Seriously. like, I was, and I know this is crazy. I have high expectations, but I love cars and I love trucks. And I just want to know if you guys had X amount of dollars, I don't know, enough money to buy a really nice fucking car and then still have some or a really nice truck, whatever your choice would be and still have money to support yourself, what would it be and why? Man, ah. It could be an... Actually, I'll go first. For me, we're going to leave money out of the equation. It's just going to be pretend that you had the money for that situation. So, personally, for me... Fuck, dude, there's so many cars I want. Like, if I was rich, rich, like Elon Musk rich, dude, I'd probably have, like, 50-plus cars for sure, but I'd be, like, a Jay Leno's garage, but... Shit, dude, my my dream car would probably be, I'll give you one, a dream car and a dream truck. My dream car would probably be either a Ferrari 812 Superfast or a GTC4 Lusso or a 488, or no, 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 a 458 Spider. Um, or my dream truck would be, oh, or a GT3 R, GT3 RS uh, Porsche. <laughs> Those are my dream cars. My dream truck would definitely be essentially what my parents have, but I'd put a leveling kit on that shit. We've talked about this last pod, but it would be the 2020 Toyota uh, Tundra uh, with the TRD package, the blackout package, like all the emblems are blacked out. Like I would just make it look sick as shit. And then other than, yeah, that's, other than that, the only other truck I'd want than that would just be like a Cummins diesel, like Rams, which is like, the next step. No, it's. Dude, he's like flashing his 
<laughs> what? Oh, sorry. His- <laughs> oh, I thought Jesus Christ. Yeah, I guess I guess Rudy was like looking at his ass, or Kyle was looking at Rudy's asshole while I was explaining. <laughs> no, it. I just had a because you know when you're like you know touch my you know <laughs> you're gonna get us all fucking hepatitis, no, you listen, idiot. No, because my I have, my hands are cold and so is my ass. I wanted to feel it. Jesus Christ, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm probably gonna get pink eye just from touching this mic and rubbing my eyes later, but. <laughs> You know, it's uh, yeah, but so do you. My car, honestly, fuck your car. Yeah, if I were... car. Don't do, don't no Tesla bullshit. What? You know, fuck yeah. that. <laughs> Tesla's for pussies. I was just in Nick's. That's some pussy shit, dude. Okay. <laughs> All right. No, but like for real, for real, Nick. You know I'm joking. No, but I will say, as far as like the sound, because dude, I'm like I'm like a gas guy, dude. I'll talk you like a like fucking Dylan, a dad. Dude. No, no, I'll talk like like the dads You're... that are so pissed that they just have to like clench their jaws. Oh, like, yeah, I got crashed. No, it's dude, like joker, I'm just like dude. I'm just like a gasoline junkie, dude. Like in the sense that like I don't want to drive a car where I can't hear it. You know, it's it's running off of batteries. Like f- fuck that, dude. I'd rather turn on a car and fucking hear like a or like a, you know, like, you know what the fuck I'm saying, dude. I don't like EVs. I'm not going to lie. Nick took me on a ride in his Tesla, though. Shit's fast as fuck. I'm not denying that. But would I ever buy one? Absolutely fucking not. Because I think the whole, the, the fact that you have to go and charge it, it's ridiculous. You have to sit there for 30 minutes. Why would I do that when I can just go get gas? I mean, yeah, sure, you're paying a little bit cheaper, but you're actually hurting the environment more. Yeah, and we love the environment. I look up, they're called, um, they're they're literal coal mines for people that mine the, the shit for the lithium batteries that these EVs take. They're like literal sweatshop fucking coal mines. I'm not even joking. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I don't completely agree with that. I'm not a fan of them. Like I said, I, I do respect them, though, because they will haul ass. Like I said, Nick took me in his. It went from 0 to 60 in probably 2.5 seconds. Yeah, that shit is quick as fuck. And you know, your dad has oh, a dad, Tesla. When I went on it, and, like, dude, the, the thing that people don't know about is the speakers. That shit can bump. I don't know what the fuck Dolby 5.8 is in there, Lion King theater status, but that shit is loud. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. So, for you, what would be your dream car, if not your dream truck, or both? All right. I mean, I love driving, man. So I gotta pick the best car. And it do took you me a genuinely while. like driving, though? I do. I, I like to put my music on and I smoke my CBD and then I drive and I relax. So no, shut that, up. That's it. And, so, <laughs> and so, anyways, if I were to do the best car free, get it delivered to my house right now. I'm crazy for this. I told myself I'd no, never like get this. Car, That's like what I'm doing. That I know. You'd see in Forza, I know. I, well, I was. I'd want to get a Lamborghini Huracan. A Huracan? Yeah, whatever the fuck. Yeah, Huracan. I'd want to get it red with black on the inside, and I want to get rims that are silver, and I want it to Ooh. look like that. Ooh, like, Yo, that's nasty. Yeah, man. that. I, I, I saw that color uh, in my dream once when I woke up. I cried, but now see, that it's I manifestation. See, I know. Man. Now I don't have it. I gotta go out to my truck. Shit, I love that truck, yeah, baby. Yeah, well, I have to drive a Camry. At least your car like sounds like it's something. When yeah, you start I like driving. I like trucks now. This is my first truck ever, and I wasn't always a fan of trucks. But dude, you can put shit in the back. You can move shit, and you don't have to go to Home Depot and talk Spanish and get fucking trucks from them. It's, no, it's no, legit. And you, what do you think? No, dude, I don't fucking care. No, about that. Bullshit, you dude. care like, about cars. No, I don't. I really don't. But you're more wants, of like a, just, no, 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 a real nice ass to ride. That's no, what he wants. Kyle's yeah, like more of a like, like. Come here, baby. Kyle's like more of a simplistic car guy, though. Though, because I remember when you were getting your your car that you have now, you were considering getting. I think it was like the Mazda MX-5. It kind of looks like a modern day Miata. What? Did you? you the red, that? dude. I'll pull it up. You'll be like, oh yeah. Did you want that one? Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> See, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even Watch, Tim, Tim knows. Tim, Tim yeah, remembers. No, you're right with the fucking uh, convertible. The little two seater convertible. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, a yeah. two seater MX. Mom's got that car. Actually. How is it? How is how is it? <laughs> I, I, I think whatever. it's this car, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like a penis shaped car. Uh, dude, like, I like that car. I like. I just it has no back seat, does it? It's a very no, no. It's a sporty car. Yeah, fuck. I I can't do that. That is just Ooh, too much. That looks fucking sick. That looks That's like a saying, penis. Like a horse, dude. I don't know. I I mean, Mazda is a good car brand. I like the body shape. It's just it reminds me of a Miata, which is made by Mazda too. I mean, it it's literally a modern day Miata. Watch this. It is. No, I know it is. He's like, that's why I fucking. Miatas fucking slide though, dude. Which for all of my drifters out there, they know those things fucking slide. 
But yeah, what about like a truck, dude? If you had to get like, dude, if you're rich, you had millions of dollars. Tell me you wouldn't fucking like you if you to, bought everything else. You, you had a you had a yacht, you had a house, a mansion. Like, come on, don't tell me you're not gonna buy some vehicles, dude. What the fuck are those vehicles gonna be? The Dodge Ram 2023. Look at that. Uh, I don't want it if it's electric. I like the look of that one. No, it's not electric. But it's gotta be a diesel. I think it Cummins is diesel. It probably is diesel. Look, dude, I'm that's literally, fucking. I'm sexy. literally telling you, I'd go to the dealership with all my what millions of dollars, like you say, and I'd fucking, I'd be like, hey, you know, just show me a couple cars and I'll pick one. Like, I, like you know, I'm not, I don't know much about cars that much well, either. Well, that's where Tim comes in, and I'd come to the fucking dealership dude, you, with you. Oh my god. What? I mean, listen, we, we live in South Orange County where there's this thing called Cars and Coffee. I don't know if they have it anywhere else, but over here they have thousands and thousands of cars. We were actually like, supposed to go give today. You a perfect example, dude. We were supposed to go today, but it was fucking raining. Let me give you a perfect example, Kyle. I just saw this just the other day. You're telling me, like, if you ever saw one of these and you had millions of dollars, like boatloads of money, you wouldn't be tempted in one of these? Well, tell them what these are. What is these are know? Bugattis. Yeah, these are probably one of the highest end hypercars. You, this is like past a supercar. This is past a Lamborghini and Ferrari. Not much. Just casually, too. Just tell, that's, those are Veyrons. Those are both from like 05. But All look right. at that. All right. That's a new one. All right. You know what? Like, I'll say this. Like, I think it's because I shut my brain off from wanting things that I can't afford. So then it becomes like... <laughs> un- un- yeah, it's nonsensical to me. So it's not important. So, like, I don't think about that that much. But, you know, if I did, you know, uh, entertain the idea that I had that much money... What about like, this? A Lamborghini I-, I would buy that car. Oh, yeah, it's kind of cool. You know, it looks look cool. Look at the wheels. Look at the fucking front of it. Like, yeah. You're telling me you don't have some sort of, like appreciation you don't or have like any part that? of a boner of that yeah. no no it's just not <laughs> dude it no. even has the italian flag colors right there dude. okay like here let me get in the mindset i have this much money to spend okay yeah you then have, it becomes a little more you have 50 like 50 cool. million dollars you just want to fight with jake paul what would you buy you already have a yacht you already have a fight mansion with jake paul. You just beat you just beat Jake Paul's yeah, ass and put him in yeah, yeah. six foot deep, dude. Oh my god! You oh made god. extra money for killing him. So what are you asking? What would you buy? What, what the fuck? The yeah. only thing I really want is a yacht. That's it. No, you have the yacht. You have the I mansion. I have the yacht. Okay, then I get a helicopter for the pad on it, and that's it. Like, okay, so you have that. Would oh it be a god. Ferrari? Would it be a Lamborghini? An Aston Martin? A fucking. No, I wouldn't even care to get a mansion, dude. I'd Dang. just live in a condo. Like, <laughs> Tim, Kyle's smart with his money. You don't want dumb shit like Tim. Well, see, <laughs> I'm talking like the shit I'm talking is if you were like multi hundred millionaires. Like if you had like three, four hundred million dollars, I'm not, st- bro. I'd still live in a nice condo. Like that's it. Like, I respect that though, because you have you live. I guess you're living actually under your means at that point. But yeah, and then what? You, you, I mean, you just save your money. And and you can go, let's say you're like, you know what? I feel like going to Brazil for a month, and then you're like, I'm gonna go. See, you have that now. But my point being is that Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, they're so rich they could go buy whatever the fuck they wanted it's right so- now. And spend billions of dollars and not even fucking make a dent in that bank account and still be able to go and say, hey, I want to take a break for nine years. Yeah. Still come back and he'd be fine. Obviously, Elon Musk isn't in such the predicament he can do that because he's running like the boring companies, running the fucking Tesla, he's SpaceX. running SpaceX, like uh, the, he's uh, Neuralink, dude. He's got so many shit he's working on. And it, the boring companies, the shit where they're making like underground. Um, Subways. Oh, God. Oh, like, that, oh, like that railway thing could mm-hmm. go from like Vegas to LA in mm-hmm. like three hours That's or some crazy. shit? No, it's supposed to be like three minutes. Three Bullshit. Minutes. I oh, swear to skin God. Will fly off your face. Yeah. <laughs> Look at, okay, it might not be that fast. <laughs> no, but he, I'm telling you, he's saying that you can get. Just look up. Uh, What's it called? Look up Boring Company. LA to Vegas. Or LA to New York or LA to Vegas in what time? I bet you it would take, like you said, it's probably going to take three hours, maybe no more than, because flying, dude, it's fucking way, it takes like four to fly. Dude, from Las Vegas to... Uh, from LA to Las Vegas. Yeah, from LA to Las Vegas on a plane, or uh, driving there from here, from no. LA to Las Vegas would flight? take you three hours. Yeah. I, I did the flight to Las Vegas from here, dude. It took me... Three to- hours. The flight? Probably less. It took me about 40 minutes. 45. Oh, no. I'm talking about driving. I'm sorry. Oh, oh okay. So Driving the... here to get to Vegas from where we live would take four hours, four and a half hours. Okay. That's what I'm saying. It's like substantially less. Well. Kyle, can you look it up? My computer's fucking acting up. I'm not doing anything.
Dude, <laughs> what? Wow. Great participation. Jamie, get your shit together, dude. <laughs> yeah, you're not Jamie no more. You're lamey. <laughs> Fucking gamey, dude. Oh my god. Oh, and then my dream bike, if I ever got a like a bike, like a motorcycle, it would be either an R1 if I lost some weight, of course. It says it would take three minutes. That's is that not what I said? Damn, that's fuck. It says it takes minutes. I don't know about three. That's crazy. Well, anyways, I was right again, but um, I like being right, kind of like how Chris does too. <laughs> and I'm also uh, very right winged as well, so it go it plays in my favor, you know. Like, yeah, I, I, if I'm not losing. Oh yeah, speaking in your favor, dude. How do you master it? What the <laughs> fuck, dude? <laughs> Yo, I'm not even going to answer that, bro. That sounds like some sort of goddamn setup, bro. I'm fucking... Like, how do you do it, dude? What, do you stand in the corner with your hood on and jerk off into your plant pot? With my <laughs> hood on, dude? Oh, my God, dude. Hey, how loud do you come? I don't yeah, know. dude. Well, I don't know. Maybe you can scream that louder so my parents can hear it, you fucking idiot. I haven't even gotten sound protection yet, you fucking retard. Yeah, dude. I'll just go in the corner, put my legs up on the wall, dude, and just jerk off, dude. You know what? I can twerk my ass and jerk at the same time. It's really good. Incredible. Great question, Kyle. So on to the next. Oh, yeah. Do you want to give us more aids? Oh, yo. No. Speaking of um, future ideas. What do you mean future ideas? You're asking me how I jerk off, dude. How does that, yeah, how does that correlate with that at all, like, dude? Tonight, dude. What are you going to do? You're a fucking idiot, dude. I don't jerk off at night, you idiot. I do it in the morning before work. Oh, all right. Now I got to come back. All right. <laughs> Well, you, once you come, you can't come back, oh, you, you fucking can. psycho. Yo, I meant, I meant like future ideas for the pod. Like I, you know, I, I was, I was saying, uh, you know, what was it last night? I texted you. I was like, dude, let's do. I know it was yesterday. Oh, well, but before he started to, uh, texting me these ideas, he was texting me pictures of his fucking Italian, fucking Ecuadorian cock, <laughs> and it was huge. <laughs> let me tell ya, dude. I'm just That's trying dude, to like, see that Franken toe. It's, it's like, dude, I'll send you the Franken toe for another cock pick, dude. I'll tell you that. But it was like, it looked like one of those, uh, like if you ever go to like a car dealership and it's got like those blow up guys and they go up and like their arms are like flailing around that's what kyle's cock looked like and i fucking nearly fucking lost it i was like <laughs> dude you can't do that then you, know, you can't do that when oh, I'm wearing yeah. headphones. sorry about that we pushed him away um he's getting really oh, excited dude. right now okay wait i was literally saying i was literally saying like future events like i was saying i want to do like let's get our own pop-up tent with our logo on it Post up in Huntington Beach for the day. Bring all our equipment. Get some nice chairs. You know, have your drink, and let's just fucking have a beach day in the summer. Just in the middle of like the while the beach is packed. While the beach is fucking packed, dude, and we'll just be like, yo, 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 we're the just chill dude podcast. Like people will come up and like you know. So we'll make like a public post about this, obviously, but you guys, we'll make this happen. Give it some due time here, and because uh, obviously we'll have to get some custom tent made or custom something for the tent. Um, and so we'll make this happen. It'll be posted on social media when we do make this happen. Um, and when it does, any and all listeners are welcome to come out and uh, be in a live, uh, I guess you would call it a live podcast, sort of like a Kill Tony um, experience where you're just listening to a podcast live or fucking dude, come like, dude, whatever you want to do. We're going to have people come, friends come, literally randoms come. I'll post yeah. it on social media, what day it's going to happen, at what time, when to be there, like all this shit. And so just stay tuned for that because that'd be great. And then, uh, shit, dude, maybe we might even take a couple of random fans in and maybe like get a little, uh, a bit of information for them. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tim doesn't mean Latin in a bad way. He just, you know, means about talking. Nothing, you know, crazy. Put the roofies away, Tim. Tim, I swear to God, dude, I can't tell you enough times. Stop peeing in the goddamn shower, dude. Your father is at a... <laughs> it's okay. Guess what? Every time I peed in the shower, I pee on my feet and it gets rid of that good old athlete's foot. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I do that, dude. Dude, sometimes when I'm in the shower and I pee, I jack off so it looks like I'm spraying cum, but it's yellow. It's so good. <laughs> Whoa, dude. It sounds like Buddy's got a UTI or something. What's going on? Yeah, cock? I got a UTI, a really big cock. No, but... <laughs> what? You mean an ultra... Uh, yeah, from uh, infection. <laughs> an ultra tall infection? Oh, like, what the fuck, dude? I got a ooga booga. Yeah, so anyways, guys, uh, that'll be the end of us fucking spewing our bullshit, but now we've got a... Uh, 
the favorite segment of all time by all the viewers, by all the listeners, by all the fucking people involved making this podcast happen, goddammit. Uh, we got the segment where we get fan submission videos. So, yeah, um, I think we have a couple here. This first guy is our one of our good friends on Call of Duty. He goes by the scream name Cerveza, uh, real name Ben, Nafs, N-Word. Um, that's all I can really say. I'm not permitted to say that word, so let's hear what Ben's got to say. JCB, just chill, dude. JCB, bro. Hold up. Hold up a second. I had to pause the video. First of all, don't call us JCB, bro. (laughs) We are just chill, dude. We aren't just chill bitches, dude. Get (laughs) out my shit, dude. Get out me swamp, dog. But anyway, I appreciate the submission, dude. Let me continue on here. Got three questions for you. One. All right, let's go, Faza. Your dream car. Two. What is your KD? Can't be good. Three. What would you rather throw away, love or money? Oh, man. Hmm, that's a good question, dude. I appreciate the submission, Ben. Um, All right, we'll answer one and two right off the rip. For for one, you can go back and listen to this podcast, <laughs> buddy, because we literally just went over it. But And the podcast prior, podcast nine. Yeah, nine, two. Um, for the second one, we'll all respond to each of them, but for the second question, um, first of all, I do not have the shittiest KD, but I appreciate it. Um, you're (laughs) actually a kind of a piece of shit for saying that. So it's fine. I appreciate your submission, but please don't ever submit again. Um, no, no, I'm just kidding. I love you, Ben. My KD is probably about point point six nine, and I want to keep it there. That's worse than mine. I have a point eight four. Yeah. I just love that 69 number. Uh, in multiplayer, I think like 1.11. Shut the fuck up. Uh, yeah, multiplayer is easy. My and friend then, Tommy has a 3.0, dude. Oh, well, then he's really good. Yeah, he's hey, good. shout out yeah. to COD, man. Sponsor us. Cod okay, sponsor and then us. you're... you're le- yeah, COD will never sponsor us. They're so fucking huge. But uh, your last question, uh, love or money for Tim, dude? Definitely money, dude. I'm trying to chase that bag till my bag goes dry, dude. Now I'm talking about that bag downstairs, dude. Not my nutsack. It, I'm no, that's what I'm talking about. My nutsack. <laughs> um, dude, like, yeah, no, dude. I, that's why I don't date people right now because I'm personally just trying to chase that bag, build my brand, dude, and Sigma just build my grind, empire. Dude. Sigma yeah. male grind, grind baby. Dude. SMG, dude. Get it? SMG, just like in the game, baby. Mm. Submachine <laughs> gooch. Love MP5. Money. But yeah, love you, Ben. What do you guys think about that? Love or money? If you had to get rid of love one, what, which money. would it be? Dude, I would rather get rid of... <laughs> like, mm, I'd rather get rid of money. You know what? <laughs> no, no, no. We're talking like big money. Like, Say you had like 20 M's in the bank or your dream girl. Yeah, my, I'd rather have the dream girl because this is why. And, and I've seen a lot of celebrities talk about it in interviews and everything like that. You could be the richest person in the world and have all the money and you can be sad and depressed. It's yeah, like, you know what? That's Shut up. Post, that's the so you can be, though. I don't, can you listen? So that way you can be sad and depressed and, you know, you go and buy these things, these cars, these yachts, whatever, to try and fill that <sighs> void. And honestly, the strongest void and the best that people can connect with is human connection. <sighs> that is almost Thank like God. something that is, uh, you can't pay for that. Is that yeah, connection? You, know you can pay for Rudy what? is women. So I don't fucking need to have that shit. That's why I'd rather have the money yeah, up front. And, no, and that's fine. Exactly. You can honestly pay a woman to fuck every day, suck her feet, lick her ass, whatever you want. But at the end of the day, like, I don't know that some people don't want to have that. They want to have like a, a uh, yeah, a real connection versus like, both of the bust. All right, next one. Both of the. And then so that way it's just like, I want to just stick with like love first. Again, like I said previously, what'd you call it? Sigma male what? Sigma male grind. Crying, dude. Sigma male crying, dude. That's some G, baby. That's all I got to say, dog. All right, but yo, check it out, man. Thanks for listening to the podcast. You know what's good today? We're, to we're feeling good. Wait, you- <laughs> Rudy, you're an idiot, dude. First of all, this is my podcast, brother. We don't just shut down when you like. No, I'm just kidding. This is all of us. This is all of our work. But no, we do have one other submission. Um, and before we play that submission. Oh, dude, I don't have to answer the question. <laughs> are you an idiot? I was just getting to that, you fucking oh, Italian no, Ecuadorian dude. bitch. But no, so what What do you think? Love or money, money dude? dude huh? I, oh, man. Like, I think there's a time and a place for, like, Love. each one of those. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to answer. I, You know, if I had a choice, I'd say, like, you know, what I just said. But... If I had to choose well, an ultimatum, say anything, though. That's, that's... well, no, no. What I said was like, you know, there's a time and a place for each one, but I can't answer that. I have to just pick one. So if I were to just but pick if it one were right now, like it was like a $10 million check or the baddest bitch you've ever met in your dreams that you can have for the rest of your life. I have right to now. say the money, dude. 
I would too. Yeah, then I can get like more things that'll help me with and my then career. You find a bitch like that later. Yeah, but I, no, but I you say, have to give one up forever. He was saying like you can never have it. Then I'd take the money for sure. I that well okay that was a pretty easy decision, but I'm saying like it's not like for me like. But like ultimately, yeah, I, ha- I would have to like say the money, dude. Like mm-hmm. that's it. That's all right well mm, yeah. fucking Barry White <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah, well thank you Ben for your submission question we <laughs> appreciate you big dog but uh right, yeah next <laughs> we're uh we're gonna go ahead and get into something old school we used to do with the old podcast what what is that Kyle it's, it's time for a prank call dude <laughs> I hope your hand has nothing on it because you're about to get a ring yeah, now. Dude. We'll call it what? We'll call it, we got to call it something. Like, yeah, I don't think we called it anything because we called rap, the, the rapping the rap to Oh, like, rap to That was a rap to segment. This could be uh, the spank call. Oh, yeah. yeah. That way when they hear it, they're getting <laughs> spanked. <laughs> All right. It's like I got big bars on the way. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, hi. Is this up, my lad? Who is this? Hey, what's up, man? My name is Carlos. What's I, up, Carlos? I, yeah, um, I'm a friend of s***. <laughs> my bad. I should have told you that. You know school. What is it? Uh, my homie school. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, my, he, I mean, I'm not trying to give too much information, but uh, we kind of work together, if you know what I mean, and he's kind of gave me some stuff, and um, he said that you, you might be interested. Uh, I already picked up from him last night. So maybe maybe in a couple of weeks, yeah. I'll be oh, down. Okay, because I got some stuff. Like, you take it, bro, and your dick gets big. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know how you feel? Like, it's fucking... It, it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, dude. For sure, for sure. Okay, yeah. So that way, just just get my... I'm, I'm going to call you again tomorrow. Is it cool? Sure, sure. Give me a call tomorrow. Yeah. Will you be in the bath? What is he? Okay, I'll... <laughs> Oh my god, dude, that was the homie fucking Malad, bro. I have the plug for the bar for the bar guy, and so I sent him his number. So that was like we were pretending to be the bar guy. But the yeah, Edward fucking he goes, yo, you gonna be in the bar? And he goes, yeah, wait, what? <laughs> Hey, Milan, I know you'll hear this probably eventually. We're just trolling you, big dog. But, dude, what's all that shit about the bath, homie? You know that was Rudy, right? The dude? hard pill. Okay. <laughs> Hey, dude. It's me, Jimmy, bye. Pretty good. But anyways, thanks, guys, again for tuning in to uh, Just Chill Podcast number 10, baby. Number 10, baby. That's 10 in the books, big dog. But anyways, thanks again for tuning in. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And again, it'll shortly be on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, as well as YouTube. And uh, again, have a great night, guys. Peace out. Good night. Good night.